evening. My name is Adam Mark, and I am in the 12th grade here in San Antonio, Texas. And uh, this is my science fair project. I was inspired by the uh, video on YouTube to build a saxophone, or a robot that would play my saxophone. So uh, it's not fully functional yet, and uh, it's not perfect, and it doesn't sound nearly as good as the one online, but it will eventually. So without uh, further ado, off for the bottom three notes right there I am missing those because I didn't really think the robot would be able to play it and so far I have not successfully uh, played anything lower than the low C on the instrument um, I welded the bass myself here we are again uh, I know I just stopped the robot and I know everybody's probably thinking this is really really stupid but uh, I just fried one of my servo the servo that plays the B key and that is going to set me back a little bit. Uh, the robot works based on a system. Instead of using actuators to press down the key, I use servos, which I guess prove has been proven to not work as effectively. Um, there is a servo for just about every key, except and on here there is. I did everything myself. This is the mouth. The mouth was the most complicated part. This box right here is their proof. Uh, I use hot glue and all that to seal up all the holes. Uh, inside there is a lip uh, made from the latex you would find in a hospital and it's filled with water and that duplicates or replicates the lip rather uh, and there is a servo in there that acts as a jaw muscle uh, so that can move the jaw up and down the uh, air pressure comes in through here via this air hose that's hooked up to a, uh, an air compressor in my garage is uh, a regulator so I can control the airflow, which you probably saw me doing, and the uh, the valve, the electronic valve, which is controlled by these two batteries and that servo switch right there. Um, that's a little weird. I, I want to change that out and put a tongue inside of the box because that didn't work too well. Uh, this would be my power supply for my servos. Uh, the top number is amperage, the bottom number is voltage. Uh, I never set the voltage above 5.4 volts. Uh, and the amperage can get all the way up to about two volt, uh, two amps. And uh, I guess one of my servos got stuck, and it drew a little bit more than that on my B, and it burnt it out because right now it will not move out of the position it's in, and it is extremely hot. Uh, the servo controllers I am using are uh, made by Parallax. They can control up to 16 servos aboard, 
and uh, I have two of them because I have uh, 17 keys. Um, the program that came with them helps you to write the music. It's not specifically made for writing music, but you can control the servos. Um, the uh, let's see if I can get one of these to move. The uh, the boxes here allow you to control at which point the servo is at until like the tenth of a degree. Uh, down here is your servo weight, uh, servo rate, which uh, controls how fast the servo goes. And then you have this one called pause in milliseconds, and that determines how long the uh, servo stays in that position. So I can say that a uh, quarter note is equal to 200 milliseconds and then you double that for a half note would be 400 milliseconds and so on and so forth and the robot will play that note for a specific amount of time um, that's that's pretty much it I mean it's not that hard to build a robot that does these things obviously you know it's hard to build one that effectively works but uh, I will have some videos up soon of this thing playing some music uh, I have to stop right now and see if I can repair this servo so I will get back to you all shortly uh, thank you. Bye.